Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. There's one type of pattern that almost every scroller eventually wants to uh, design uh, for themselves, and that is a portrait style pattern. Now, most scrollers are content to cut uh, patterns designed by other pattern designers, uh, but when it comes to a portrait pattern, they're generally wanting to uh, make one of a family member or a family friend or uh, someone that they care about. And uh, the only way that you can easily do that is to make it yourself. So I have made a few of these videos in the past using other uh, uh, paint programs in CorelDRAW. And uh, over the weekend, I purchased a new paint program. It's uh, Paint Shop Pro X2. And uh, it retails for about $99. And I just happened to have a Best Buy $50 gift card. And uh, so this is what I decided to use that for. And uh, one of the first things I wanted to check out was how to... Uh, design the uh, uh, portrait patterns in this because uh, all these programs are basically the same. The concept is the same as far as making portrait patterns for your scroll saw, but the menu selections are obviously going to be a little different. So tonight I'm going to take you through uh, making a portrait pattern of uh, this portrait I have on the screen right now and uh, we'll see how it goes. Generally what I do once I uh, get the uh, pattern into uh, the paint program, I'll go looking for uh, something called Threshold. Now you'll find this in different places uh, in different programs, but in PaintShop Pro, you'll go to the Adjust menu, you'll pull down to Brightness and Contrast, and then down to Threshold. And what that will do, it will bring up the Threshold uh, uh, window here, and it'll allow you to make an adjustment which will turn this photograph into a two-bit black and white uh, image, a uh, very high contrast black and white image. And that's uh, basically how we'll start this pattern. Now, this particular image uh, converted very well, and it won't take a lot of manipulation uh, to make this into a pattern. But if you had a, a lower contrast image and this doesn't, didn't come out quite right, you can adjust uh, the threshold up and down and you can see by moving it up and down I can make more or less of the image show up. So we had it on about 128 and I think I'll put it back to pretty close to there anyway. And uh, this is what we have. So you might have to play with this a little bit uh, to get what you need and sometimes I'll even do a little adjustment on the photograph before I go to the thresholds. I might turn up the contrast a little bit or take the brightness up uh, to get this image right here closer to what we need. Okay, once you get something similar to this on the screen, then go ahead and hit OK. And you can see here, now my portrait's been converted to that 2-bit uh, uh, black and white image. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and scroll in on the image, and I'll start to make my adjustments on what I uh, need to cut. And to do that, I'll use my paintbrush, which is over here, and I'll swap back and forth between black and white to either uh, add detail or take detail away. Now my brush size is at uh, 32 right now, so I'm going to take it down to about 2 because I'm going to be working on some pretty small areas. And I'm going to go ahead and hit this so I'm drawing with my white color up here. And what I'm going to do is begin to create areas that I can cut out on my scroll saw. Now, let's uh, look at this eye, uh, Elvis's left eye here, just as a good example of what we could cut. Right now, if we printed this out and started cutting, and we cut out the black, and think of the white as the wood and the black as the piece that we're going to cut out. So if we started cutting out this eye right now, we would have a couple of problems. Uh, one is this piece right here would fall out if we cut this out because it's a little floating island right here. The uh, white of the eye would fall out. Uh, the highlight uh, in the pupil would fall out. So we need to make a few changes to make this uh, to where we can actually cut it. So with white selected as my drawing tool, I'm just going to make a few little alterations here. I'm going to do that. So now when we cut that out, this part of the eyeball will stay in. I'm going to make the highlight on the eye a little bigger. And I'm going to take this piece right above the eye and bring that down a little bit. Now you can see now just with those couple minor tweaks, we now have a piece that we can cut out on the scroll saw and it will uh, leave us an area that looks like an eye. And then I'll generally just go through and clean up some of the little extra bits and pieces. Uh, but when you go to cut this out on the scroll saw, you're generally 
if you use a, a bitmap type drawing, drawing program like I have here, you're generally not going to follow the lines exactly where they're real rough right here. You're going to cut around them a little more smooth. Now I'll generally take this into uh, Corel Draw and do a uh, trace on it and so it turns it into a vector to make it real smooth. But that gives you an idea of what we're trying to do. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll go through the rest of the image and I'll look for areas that need the same type. Like I'll probably, whoops, let me change my color to white. I'll probably go through and get rid of this little piece right here. Uh, let me zoom out just a little bit. And I can see right here that I'm going to have a really big piece when I look at his shoulders and all this. So I will probably come in through here and take some of this out just to make it a little easier to cut. I'm going to clean up some of this detail here, clean up inside the ear here a little bit, take off these all these little small points that uh, are just going to be distractions as we cut. It looks like everything through the mouth and, and lips and the bottom of the nose are fine. Uh, if we go up here to his right eye, we can see that the highlight won't be able to cut out. So I think I'll take that, make that a little bigger so we can cut it out. That makes that pretty good. I think I'll go ahead and take this line at the top of his forehead and break that off to make this into one piece we cut. I'm going to switch back over to black. Make this line right here just a little thicker. So we'll have a little bit more to cut out on our scroll saw. Now I'm going to go up here and you can see I've got all these areas up here that we don't need. We're going to leave this all one solid piece of black. So I'm going to fill all these in. And I would probably go up to the, the pieces of the hair up here and make some changes up here just to make everything easier to cut. Fill in some of this. Again, we can't have any white areas that are going to fall out, so we might as well just take our pen tool and get rid of them. And once I did all that and got everything ready to where I knew I had pieces I could cut out, then you can take and print this out and you'll have your pattern. Now again, like I said, I'll usually take this into Corel Draw. So if you have Corel Draw, um, you might want to take this image into Corel Draw and do an auto trace. And what that'll do is it'll get rid of all these jaggies. And the jaggies are these right here. Now you can cut this out and this won't be a problem because when you go to cut it, uh, when you mount this pattern to your, uh, pa to your wood, you're just going to cut along the outlines here. So it'll be fine like this, but it just looks a little cleaner if it's been traced first. So that's uh, the basics of designing a portrait pattern in uh, Corel's Paint Shop Pro X2. Uh, again, this program retails for about $99, and uh, uh, I really like it. I won't say that I like it as much as I do Photoshop, but uh, at a fraction of the price of Photoshop, uh, it's really, really close. So uh, if you uh, are into uh, or wanting to get into designing portrait patterns, uh, this might be within your... Uh, your budget, uh, um, hopefully, that you can give this a try. Okay, please uh, visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com where you'll be able to uh, find this video and uh, lots of free patterns and other things for the scroll saw. I'm Steve Good, and we'll see you in the next video.